So we've had another really interesting question and I'm sure many of you have had this experience where you're behind players who perhaps are playing at a slower pace to the one that you prefer to play at. So um, Lindsay asked, how do you retain your focus in that situation? Um, I think it's really important to understand first and foremost the things that you can control versus the things that you cannot control out on the golf course when you're playing. And obviously other people you have no control over. You could perhaps ask them if, if you can be let through at a, a suitable opportunity. Um, but I think if you can flip that situation on its head and utilise that time to help your performance, um, then I think you'll find um, that actually you feel more in control in that particular moment. So, for example, you could use that time to pay attention perhaps to um, the detail on the green. You know, if you're playing your approach shot and waiting for them to clear out of the way, um, you know, have you really paid attention to where the flag is, the wind, um, the strength, the direction, the slopes on the golf course? Um, and on the green, you know, how's that going to affect your golf ball? How have you been playing um, today? Are you pushing things a little bit to the right? Are you pulling them a little bit? You know, what are the patterns that you've noticed? You could use that time to have something to eat, to have something to drink, something that I think not enough amateur golfers pay attention to is their nutrition on the golf course when they're playing. And something uh, that Tim Galway um, coined uh, it was a little equation and that's essentially your performance is your potential less any interference and these situations they can create quite a lot of interference and I, I suspect this is what Lindsay's um, finding is that when she's out on the golf course she start thinking about it interferes with your game um, and then obviously has a negative impact uh, on your performance so it's really important that we just start to take control of the things we can so control the controllables and flip it on its head i hope that's helped lindsay if you've got any more questions then please ask i'm loving them keep them coming and have a great day cheers